Hey everyone, this is Ken from Orion Telescopes, and I wanted to make just a short video uh, to show off uh, an astrophoto that the uh, RC-12 uh, was capable of. Um, I was lucky enough to get a chance to shoot through this um, a few months back. Um, I'm using PixInsights here, this is just a picture of the of the 12 itself. Um, and then I used the, uh, the G24 camera, that's our full format one-shot color camera. Uh, full format being 35 millimeter film frame, so it's a very, very big chip, um, and it works really well with this uh, RC-12. Anyways, uh, this is it here. This is uh, NGC 891, a very cool edge-on galaxy, and one of my favorites. Um, I showed off this video, or this object in the G24, uh, on the G24 webpage as well, but it was taken with uh, this 12 RC here, and I think it does a really good job. Whoops, let me maximize it here. Um, uh, first of all, I love the, uh, the diffraction patterns that the that the uh, RC truss, uh, the, the the spider veins produce. Um, I think it makes a really elegant looking picture. Uh, this was a series of two minute exposures, um, fifty of them stacked. And I live in really terrible skies for this kind of stuff. I live in a Bortle Seven uh, rating sky that's like on the edge of between suburb and suburban and, and urban area. The San Francisco is about 10 miles away and I'm right on the coast as well. So there's always a lot of, um, the, the humidity is always very high. The th fog is always threatening to condense out of the air. So transparency is never very good. Um, but this telescope and this camera combination really kind of cut through all that and gave me a nice image using only two minute exposures. Um, I get a lot of people saying, well, a, 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 a truss like that, it's F8. It's F8, excuse me. Um, and F8 is not a very fast telescope. Well, that's, that's true. Um, maybe back in the film days, you know, if anybody is old enough to remember film, uh, like me, the, um, uh, the exposures had to be so long that you really didn't want to use really long uh, telescopes like an F8 or F10. Um, because you just have to shoot for such a long uh, time to get the image. Well, with these modern CMOS cameras like the G24 or our um, slightly smaller, the APS-C size uh, uh, G26s, um, you, get a, you can get away with extremely short exposures. Um, if I was to shoot any longer than about three or four minutes, the background sky here um, rises up. So the level of the background sky is so high that I start overexposing. I, I reach the sky fog limit. Um, so 90 seconds, 120 seconds, maybe up to 180 seconds is as much as I can do from my location uh, using broadband filters or, or no filters like this because uh, the G24 is a one-shot color. Um, so anyways, uh, I think th th what that means is, you know, F who cares if something's a little bit slower, F8, F10, it doesn't really matter. You can shoot very short exposures and get some amazing results. Uh, again, it's just 50 uh, images stacked at two minutes each. Um, and then processed all in PixInsights here. All right, thank you very much. Clear skies.